Now my Uncle Ernie, he was a building man. That's what they always used to say about the man that opened the famous Harlem Nocturne nightclub right here at 343 East Hastings Street. Let me tell you, my Uncle Ernie, he had talent. He had drive and boy was he stubborn. Just so committed to the black art scene here in Vancouver. In fact, his motto was, there's nothing in the world you cannot do. See, my Uncle Ernie served in the Second World War, and that is where he learned to play a mean trombone. After he got back, he was cheated in a job, so my Uncle Ernie promised that he would never work for nobody but himself. And that is when he started the jazz band Five Guys Named Mo. He got the guys a gig around Hastings and Maine, but after the gig ended, he had a great band but no place to play. So what did he do? What else? He bought this building and opened up the Harlem Nocturne. From opening night, this club was packed, and then it quickly became famous for three things. Been the only black-owned nightclub here in Vancouver, having famous musicians, and for his four shows featuring dancer Choo Choo Williams, my Aunt Marcy, Uncle Ernie's wife. After a 10-year run, Uncle Ernie closed the Harlem Nocturne. A few years later, sticking to his word for not working for nobody, my Uncle Ernie started the first black theater, the Sepia Players. Now you have to understand, this was during a time of major racial tensions in the city. It was difficult for black performers to get gigs, especially gigs that reflected the lived realities. So it was my uncle that gave these performers their first opportunity in Vancouver, but also he staged the first Canadian productions of the South African playwright, Arthur Fugard. All the while, my uncle is acting on stages, performing on television, and starting new bands. As a musician, an actor, and hard-headed entrepreneur, my uncle, Mr. Ernest King, provided a voice and gave space to the black art community, which changed the entire landscape of Vancouver's entertainment industry. There is truly nothing in the world you cannot do.